here I am. Architecture, super cool architecture. You don't notice you're arriving at the museum until you're not here in the real last moment. Uh, the museum is closed. It's gonna be opened in uh, 10 minutes. Uh, you can see again how the use of architecture, it's way different than architectural photography. For example, they have all this decoration along the, along the, the glass and uh, you go down that slope you slope down towards the entrance and then you get in here but also uh, you can go down these stairs i guess it smells a lot like sea i gotta say it's the perfect spot for a maritime museum but you can see we're going to the reverse titanic moment um, and here we are this is i think one of the most spectacular shots we can get <sighs> yeah you can see it's pretty cool here we are going to the stair and the stair it's also really funny you see it's like not a straight stair it's like slightly tilted somehow uh, I don't know what is the geometrical reason for that I guess because it starts from not a straight point and it arrives at a straight point so it's kind of slightly tilted there you can see the entrance you can i don't know if you can hear but there's water falling down you can it's i don't know it smells like sea you hear a lot of water and you're this sort of reversed ship form so i think it's kind of cool here you can see the famous auditorium uh, again steps sitting steps sitting chairs it is pretty pretty cool and here there is some funny decoration with the seaman t-shirts we are finally managing to enter the museum the pavement is cool it's not uh, slippery it's very nice metal very well foreseen in case of I mean here it's quite wet it's always windy rainy I think these are images that you have never seen before because we don't see the entrance taken pictures of there is our nose of the of the museum and uh, we are entering finally the museum of york ingles and it's nice and warm inside here we managed to enter the museum uh, you go through a shop and then all the rooms of the museum or beneath the sides of the dock where they were used to build the ship so this is a curiosity because the competition brief of uh, the competition was to build a museum inside the dock but Björk Ingels group decided to build it around it uh, by breaking the rules uh, of, um, of the competition uh, but in the end uh, so he didn't win the competition uh, somebody else won the competition but in the end the client decided to build this uh, building and uh, it's now more or less a kids museum uh, there are a lot of uh, you can see uh, let me show you there are this sort of exposition for for kids with books yeah, it's everything done sort of like a submarine ship. So yeah, it's let's check it out. I'll show you the more architecty, architecturally part of the building. We can see the first part of the bridge beneath the bridge. Uh, now we are walking basically in this first bridge that connects connects the the two sides of the dock in this bridge over there we have 
the kids corner so guys this is a very interesting room it's dedicated to the Tannebrock uh, that's the royal yacht it's sort of the yacht force one of Denmark where the royal family uh, strolls around it's uh, it's it you have to imagine that Danish people are very connected to the sea because back in the days Greenland was part of Denmark, Iceland, the Faroes Island. Uh, so here there is a, an entire room dedicated to this royal yacht. And uh, you can see a model here of, of this yacht. It is um, pretty cool. So basically the royalty in charge is also the captain of this yacht. So who rules the yacht rules the country. And this dude here, you can see, he is a pretty cool guy because he was the king of Denmark, Frederick IX. He was uh, tattooed. This is uh, an edition of Life magazine. And uh, somebody leaked the pictures back in the days. Um, and he had this pretty badass tattoos and they allegedly were leaked by his personal trainer. So I think this is a cool story to share. In the middle of the exposition, we have this super cool piece of jewelry. And here, guys, we are in another room full of these ship models from different Danish ships and we are getting in the other bridge so here we have the combination of this shipyard exposition and we are beneath the back of the ship and here you can find or better say the shipyard and here we are in the coffee where the other stair goes down. Yeah. Let's go to see how it is the room beneath. Here we have some Second World War section where they show the torpedo and how many ships were sunk by Germans during World War I and uh, World War II. Uh, several models again, we see ship mines. Um, here we can see the guns that they were used to mount on the ships to protect themselves. So yeah, unfortunately this is something that's very, very actual today and here we see all the medals that you could get by the Royal Navy in Denmark, uh, footage from Second World War and barrels and we're getting to the area where there is the auditorium. As the only architectural nerd in the museum right now, I'm the only one going to check this area here. So this is the stage here. You can get to the different... Smells like wood also. This is the auditorium with the different chairs. They're fixed. Here is the other bridge of the dock. Again, glass mullions of the facade. And I'm going upstairs to see what it is up here. Super. It smells like wood in here. It's the first time I don't smell like sea stuff. And I guess uh, here you can see there is a exposition about the architect Bjork Ingels. These are the pages that are very much in the yes is more style where he explains the concept of the building and the project. A model of the building 
where you can actually see how it was developed. We are basically in this bridge here and we are walking around the dock so you can see all the rooms they're here you can see everything is like this it's like metal um, and uh, so funny this is the shopping area the toilets you can see everything in the model in here I think they kind of ruined a little bit the model but here is where we have the reverse titanic moment the big dock oh, what could it be if you only change one letter always this irony i think if they called it that way it's a, i don't know danish humor like the website of big dk okay guys i'm back here where you can see this crazy big model of this cargo ship the mask you can see what the fuck it's so huge and this is just a model i don't know what scale but uh yeah the famous shipping company here guys we are at the end of the exposition um, so there is another kids corner and you can see we have again these sort of steps I think they remind a lot like the nose of a ship or something similar you know like uh, or they have to follow the shape I guess of the slope that goes around the museum um, here we have this super interesting glass facade that has no mullions at all. I think it's just hanging on that metal, metal element. It's really cool, really cool. The whole museum reminds uh, somehow of a ship, has a slightly a slope. Here you can see that this part of the museum looks like really like the nose of a ship. And this stair looks like sort of the water moving. At least this is my interpretation. One really cool feature of the dock is that here on the top it's really windy but you can go inside the dock of the museum and just have your lunch and you can see that there it's way less windier than here. So here you got the big stair and you can go down from here inside the dock and then in the cafe. So I think it's a pretty cool thing. And from here you can see that the museum is basically invisible. Leaving the museum, it was cool, definitely worth visiting. Let's see if we can manage to visit a little bit of the castle. And then we're heading to the Louisiana Museum. Also very cool museum, suggested by a lot of people. We'll be filming more 